So this is the Cadillac PGA uh, Bethpage State Park event. And right back there you see the Cadillac XT6, which they're showing off, uh, they have some preview for it. And they have you make it so that you can drive the XT4, the XT5, or the CT6. But I'm here really to see this, because I missed the New York International Auto Show. Yeah, so this is the newest one. Oh, we got to sign in. And as luck would have it, the damn thing's locked. So my guess is they didn't let you get in it at the uh, auto show either. That's what Lincoln does anyway. So basically the X-T6 has the same interior as the X-T4, except it's just bigger and then it has the third row. Oh, the damn thing's locked. I gotta go register right here. So let me go in here and register. Yeah, we'll probably drive the CT6 again. That's that's the one I kind of like driving. Okay, so you get this little white band right here. And, uh, oh, look at this guy. He's videotaping right here. So basically, I mean, you know, this is exactly the same technology of the X-T4, but it's scaled up so that you have a six-row crossover i guess you could call this because it's not as big as say the escalade it's not a full-size suv now according to them there is an xt6 that you're allowed to get in and you're allowed to check it out but it's at the merchandise tent why they didn't have one right here i don't know but i guess they only had uh two of these vehicles available for uh taking a look at so this has a 400 on it so i'm guessing that must mean that it's that twin turbo V6, because I guess they felt that the regular V6 3.6 liter was too small, not enough torque, not enough horsepower, which is probably a good idea, because the thing about it is now Cadillac's all about fuel saving, so everything is start-stop technology. I don't know if they're gonna make a plug-in hybrid of this, but if they did, it would probably be very good if they could get like 100 miles of plug-in power from it. That would be nice, like the Chevy Volt anyway. Even better if they could get 200 miles of plug-in from it. Because ultimately all these things are moving to electric uh, power anyway. Because they have to get around these European uh, cafe. These European laws and the cafe standards. This one has a heads-up display. This one's fully loaded, it looks like. It has a heads-up display. I think it has the massage seats. It has the heated, cooled seats. And it has... It, they, it, they got rid of that touch panel from the uh, CT6, it looks like. But uh, I'll get a better look at one when we get to the uh, merchandise tent. So this is the PGA, the PGA um, Cadillac. Event. I think Tiger Woods might actually be here, but I don't know anything about golf. So maybe he's here, maybe he's not. Who cares? <laughs> CT6. I think this is the newest one, like a 2019, I believe. Yeah. Because I think there's like some redesign in that grill. Yeah, drive that one. Yeah. Oh, there's a line. And there's five specials there as well. <laughs> Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Uh -huh. So what's different about this? This is basically your car, but there's a third row on it. Like you see back there, you could, if you look in it, there's a third row back there. So, Because you remember how in Patty's car that SRX had three rows? Mm -hmm. Up until now, they didn't do a small car that had three rows. The only thing you get is the Escalade. This is locked. This is locked. But the other one, the one at the merchandise counter supposedly is open. Third row. That's that would be yours. Okay. <laughs> XT5. 
Yep, XC6. Because, see, the problem is they didn't have anything in between your car and the Escalade, and the Escalade's like $90,000 or something. So the problem is they had to gap it. You know, they had to put something in between. That's the CT6. So they have two CT6s right now. And that's the XC4. You see, that when they redesign your car, the XC5, then you'll get like the stuff that this car and that car has. Because this one's newer than that. And that one's newer than yours, even though it's smaller. So that one has heated cooled massage seats. But the massage seats aren't available on the XT5 yet. Oh, okay. And this has it too, the XT6 has it. So when are they going to make the hybrid? Um, a hybrid, eventually. CT6. Okay. A CT6 is unreal, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, it literally drives itself. Oh, that works. And the Escalade, you guys, yeah, it will. Well, that's not for me. Yeah, Yo, you're going to be going the second one back. I'll be right with you. Okay. You will. Yeah, this, like, this Escalade is for big boys. This is a new color. It looks okay. I, I don't know if it looks good on that car. I think this would look better on the SUV. Mm. Like that car, that color looks better. Yeah, that's a nice No, leave, color. you leave it. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, that's a good All right, you guys ready? Okay. Yes. Hi, I'm Renee. How are you doing? Oh, we put that seat up yeah, a little yeah, more. Absolutely. Yeah, Thanks. And your adjustments for that seat. I see it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm used to this low. <laughs> okay, wow. Wow. Okay, so your mirrors are, you see where that, the, under the circle, the L, and, the L and R, it's, it's set on L, so that's your left mirror, so you can adjust it, huh? Okay, she So this is your regular uh -huh. mirror. So if you had three people in the back or right. you had something stacked up and it was blocking your view, yes. you would be able to turn this on. And it's a camera located right above your license plate. So yeah, it gives you a full view behind you. It's actually a wide angle camera. So it's giving you a better view than it would if you were using your mirror. Excellent. So yeah. Okay, so now I should just adjust. Yeah, so you can go ahead and adjust your mirror. So you just pull this right here. Okay. So now you can Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is 
So XT5, yours, yours is a little different, right? Yes, it's it is slightly. Different. So I this, it's just... I used to that time Yeah, though. the way they're doing it is you've got the drive and the manual mode now. It's just a, it's just a little different than the old one because before you have to reverse and go over. So okay. this one, they just designed it a little different, but it's basically the same. Um, so, okay. all right. Well, you are in drive. I'm in drive. So you know. go. Mm -hmm. You are right, good. Give me directions. All right. Oh, could yeah, you turn the uh, music, music down? Oh, the, yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, you slide it to the left. Oh, turn it down all the way. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. This one has that pan array speaker, the one that uh, pops up when the car is oil and water. You see that yeah. big speaker up there? Yes, yeah, so yeah. when you turn the car off, this will pop into the dash. And then when you turn it on, it pops up. So the pan array Bose sound system has 34 speakers. So, and including speakers in your headrest as well. Oh. Okay. Now, I'm going to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay. been in a sedan and I can't tell you how long I had the crossover. Yeah. Uh, so you, 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 you like the sitting up a little higher. Yeah. Okay. Well this one is our biggest sedan that we make. Okay. Um, and so it's a little bigger than the XTS which is our full-size sedan. So this is also still a full-size sedan but just a little wider and a little longer. Okay. Uh, but this one has a lot of features that a lot of the other vehicles don't have. Um, uh, this one actually has massaging seats in every seat in the vehicle, except okay. that middle seat. Okay. Um, so you have massaging seats, uh, ventilated and heated seats mm -hmm. in every seat in the car. Um, so you're just as comfortable back there as you are here. <laughs> okay. And then the back seats also have screens back here. Mm -hmm. um, when you adjust your massaging seat, that screen will pop up. Okay, so is that additional or is that just... That's the, an additional that's, feature. Okay. How do I make the TVs come up? If you start adjusting your... Um, oh, just keep it down. You see the, the buttons over there? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That should pop your screen up. Um, Oh no, the it's on it's the, by your leg. Those it's like a round button. Features. No, there's buttons for your massagers right there on the side. Okay. Uh, they, they're shaped just like. Okay, these. yeah, I feel that one. Um, when you start to adjust it, there's a little round button that has a little massaging symbol on it. That should pop up your screen back here. Okay. Is this a new color? The outside, yes, it is a new color. Uh, okay. Shadow metallic. Shadow. And this one is our platinum trim level, so you have every option. You have the suede, everything up above the regular trimmings. Um, and then our other CTS has a different, uh, it's the same platinum trim level. With all, they're both, all, both engines are all-wheel drive. Um, but that one has cashmere leather and okay. different lighter look to it. recommended at premium um but you can with it's recommended car. at the um I said it's recommended premium well yeah there cadillac recommends you put premium in it um you can drive it with regular gas but it's it's just recommended just better for the engine uh, it's premium. are all of the new cars recommended with you mine take regular no no most no it, all of them take regular um and they, it's fine with regular they just you know some of the luxury vehicles they do just for better performance um, so and you can be left. yes mm -hmm. Cruise. Um, that's a new feature. I don't know if you've seen that on any commercials or 
um, Super Cruise is basically an intuitive driving feature. Okay. So when you are going freeway speeds, you can set Super Cruise and it will take control of your steering wheel, your brake pedal, it'll basically drive the vehicle for you. Um, that bar up here on your steering wheel is actually, will actually read your eyes and it just has to know that your eyes are open. So it, it's just making sure that you're still attentive, right? even though it is driving for you. Oh, you're going to go that way. Oh, oh I should have gone. It's, it's okay. <laughs> if, you, you, if you want to take the loop again, I don't want you to have to go on the short loop, so oh, I just want to go okay. back. <laughs> I was sort of following him. I no, no sure. worries. No worries. I thought I was supposed to do the same. You just keep going. <laughs> We're doing a full loop. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. So, and so I should go. Yes. Okay. Just so you get a little longer route. Sorry all about right. that. Great. Right. I'm straight up here. It's okay. But yeah, so, and the nice thing with that is it's actually another safety feature. Because say someone's mm -hmm. a diabetic and they pass out, mm -hmm. if you close your eyes and it doesn't sense that you're awake, it will actually pull the vehicle over and call 911 for you. So oh, it is wow. actually a it, well, for a certain amount awesome. of time if you're not awesome. if you're not alert. So it's actually an added safety feature to get a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now where am I going? And then once you get up to the street, we're gonna take it right. Is she able to engage the uh, uh, Super Cruise right now? No, you can only do it on freeways. Only on the freeway. Okay. And okay. only if you have lines, because it's using your other safety features to read the lines. It's using your map system to know where you are so that it can know where you are and, you know, direct and, you know, drive the vehicle for you. And it has to kind of know where you're located um, to do that feature. So, yeah, it'll only let us do it on the freeway. Well, unfortunately, okay. <laughs> we can't use Well, it. it's good to know that, you know, that's something new and innovative. Yeah. Mm. And if you go to a dealership, you should be able to, you know, if you go somewhere local, they should be able to um, show you that feature. Okay. And now, you use it. So we go that that's called now. Super Cruise, right? Super Cruise. Yes. Well, let me ask you a question. Do the other Cadillacs have that as well? This is the only Cadillac that offers it. Um, we were told that the XT6, the one that's bigger than yours, the one that's coming out this summer. Yes. Um, um, the one with the third row. That one is supposed to not in the first round of the ones that come out, but it is supposed Am to I get straight? the Super Cruise feature. You're going to keep going straight. Um, so the new XT6 is supposed to get super cruise, okay. just not the first ones off the okay. um, off the line. But they will late availability. They will have the super cruise. Now the XT6 is 2020 or 2019. It's a 2019, but it's coming out this summer. Okay. So it, it is going. It's the one that's underneath the tent. Right. Like you registered. Yes. Yes. So and they do have one when you go to the shops and you use your gift card. You know, um, they do have one that's open that you can get into because I believe they leave this one locked. Okay. Um, so there is one there that will have product specialists and that can talk to you about it. Um, okay. So yeah. Oh, wow. I like the drive. I think it's a little too low for me. I, I'm so used now to the crossover. Yeah. So it's a little too low. Mm -hmm. You know, but this is a nice option. I know uh, a lot of friends own the old. We call it the boat. Mm -hmm. And they they were very upset when the what, what's that called John the X something came out. It's now used for a lot of limousines. The uh, XT S. STS. STS. Yeah, yes. that one's a tiny bit. Smaller. Right. They were upset with that car, and I know many were looking, and I think they switched to. Something. The crossovers. Yeah, <laughs> so they were hoping that something like this would come back. Yeah, because this basically, even though it's not the same exact size, this replaces like the old Fleetwood right. or the old DTS. Absolutely. My grandma had a DTS and nothing was. Awesome. See, my parents <laughs> so. had these uh, Seville. 
was it? I remember because we have a picture of it. It was blue, light like, blue. Mm -hmm. And it came in a few colors. Yeah. Um, and I think it was the Coupe de Ville. Was it? No, it wasn't the Coupe de Ville. It was the other one. It was the Sedan de Ville. Mm -hmm. That's the one that my parents had about 100 years ago. But, you know, then they switched to Lincoln. And mm -hmm. they got, of course, a town car. You know, because that was much larger, mm -hmm. you know. But I happen to love the crossover so far. The XT4 I've driven already. I've test drive that one. That's too small. Mm -hmm. But I love the XT5. I'm not sure if I would go for the XT6. I think that's too big. I, you know, I don't have the, the family anymore. It's just me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know. that one does have a front row. Yeah. So see that I would unless need. you needed the cargo area when they fold yeah. down, you'd have more cargo area. But I don't take that much luggage. With yeah, <laughs> it's just you. I mean, unless yeah, you just and you <laughs> overpack. Know, maybe a road <laughs> trip exhausting. here and there, but yeah. But I love the XT5. This is a nice smooth drive. Okay. So we're gonna go straight, so into that other parking lot, mm -hmm. and then we're just gonna stay by this little median area because we're gonna turn back in. Well, did you guys have any other questions or anything? No. Mm -hmm. well, John, did you have any? Not especially. You are going to pull in. What color is this, this coming? Uh, the empty one? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, it, this is the same color as that XT4, right? Yeah, they're very, uh, y yes, they're, yes. Mm -hmm. it's the same color as that one. Um, okay. yeah, you can actually pull up a little more. Oh, All right. right. Just didn't want to hit anyone. <laughs> he likes to walk in the street. Okay. <laughs> right up here. Well, nice. thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you. And, and if you guys just put it in park. Yep, that's it. Leave it on. You can leave it on. Yes. Thank you so much. It was no, so nice meeting you. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank it was you. nice meeting you guys. Have a great night. How'd you like that? Oh yeah, I've driven this car before. I even used the uh, Super Cruise ones before. It's a great oh, car. I really you. like it. Yeah. That's really nice. like it. How'd you like it? Yeah, they're about nice. Like me to take your picture next to it? Uh, um, I, I would take her. I would take her picture next okay, to it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. 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 yeah twin turbo V6 from the CTS. Or the CTS V Sporter. Oh, you this have is the uh, well, no. This is the twin turbo V6 uh, from the uh, CTS V Sport, right? So this is our twin turbo V6. That is not the CTS V Sport. Is a little bit. It's a little bit different for this one. This is a brand new XT6. Okay. So this one is 10 horsepower to 70 foot pounds of torque. Okay. 310. 310 horsepower. Yep. 270 torque. Mm -hmm. And it is. It's all brand new from the you know the, the everything. But um, yeah, 310 horsepower. So. Mm. Yeah, kind of like same cake pan, different cake type all right, of thing. Right, right. Have you been reading up on this one? Uh, not yet. I think I requested information. Good. So, brand new three row crossover, six or seven passenger. Production starts, you know, sometime. Mm -hmm. Summer. We'll see it late summer, early fall. Pricing $53,690 for the brand new luxury, which is what we've got here. And then the sport starts at $58,000. Uh, break, huh? hmm. Bench is going to be standard in the second row, 60-40 split bench, and you can opt for captain's chair. Hmm. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. You got to get on this bus in order to go over to the uh, PGA event, because otherwise they don't let you in. Okay. Yay! No. You never come anywhere near him anyway, so. No, it was by accident. No, it was by accident.
I couldn't get the clip. I couldn't get it lined up to tighten it down. I mean, I pulled, you know, one nut in there, keeping it right here, keeping the fan. That's one of those carpets. Uh, yeah, I want to get something like this. This carpet, outdoor carpet. I wonder how do you clean this? Huh. Oh, I meant for like stains, yeah. I think this, yeah, I see cars in there, so yeah, this is probably where it is. They're, they're probably going to the golf thing. I ain't going to that. Okay, so. Let's watch it, huh? hmm. Yep. Yeah, see, I missed the New York International Auto Show, but to tell you the truth, the only real thing that I would have wanted to see there was actually this, which I think is a damn shame. Ooh, okay, we got power or lift. All right. Okay. What is the... Oh, you can, you can drop the uh, middle roll. Sorry about that. Okay, so it has the same rear, basically, as the X-T4. So they don't have the massage buttons right here on the seats like the X-T4. You can get in here. Yeah, you think? Yeah, well, let's try it. I well, I wouldn't... See, no, I really <laughs> want to see what the two of us would look like back here. <laughs> We got a hybrid Highlander right now. Which a hybrid like. Highlander? Yeah. yeah so come on. Have you sat in the XT5? We just took the ride in that one. What'd you think? It's okay. Well, that was this one, but not the. This is the six, right? This is the six. Right, this right. is the. But you know the difference because yeah, this one has a third row. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we just sat. We just road tested the five, but then I looked at the golf clubs in the back, and I'm like, ah, it's not a lot of big in the golf like, clubs. Yeah. They were like the six has got more room, so that's what we're looking at six now. Basically, when it comes to, well, boy, is it just two people plus golf clubs, or? Yeah, in case of a third person, you know what I mean, so. So, it's either the Escalade or something yeah, like this, but the Escalade's not, you know, I mean. the Escalade, we, we've already It's come too out big, of it's we, way we, too big. Yeah, we've come out of the big trucks. Oh, so. well, I mean, how did, what did the, and you, you didn't like the X-T5? No, it rode nice, we just wanted more room. More room. Like, if they can give me this much room in the back without the third seat, it'd be even better. But when you look at the back of the five, it's it, the guy said it's definitely big. And you have a Highlander. Have yeah. you have you tried a Jeep Grand Cherokee? Yeah, no, I'm not a Jeep guy. You're not a Jeep yeah. guy. I have one. Yeah, I have one, and I'm ultra comfortable in that yeah. thing. Ultra comfortable. But I mean, me and you, we got plenty of room back here. I mean, this I'd have to push the seat up. Yeah, but I mean, saying if this seat, well, you're definitely taller than I am. Yeah, the seat go I don't back know. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh snap. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. There we go. So there, there you got some more room, right? So yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, I think yeah, this I could do this for a couple hours. Yeah, I could. I think so. Carolyn, drive this home. <laughs> drive this home. <laughs> so, because you know, and the thing, what I like about the XT6 is like they they have the start stop cutoff, right, so right. you can get rid of that. Because I'm not crazy about that yeah, feature. Yeah, I hate that when you rent the cars in Florida, they all do that. It makes you nuts. And you gotta figure out how to turn it off. Because I have I've had uncles call me back, and they're like, "Hey, do you know how to turn this thing off?" Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is actually really nice. This is really nice. Most of us just can get back there. So I know for both of us, there's plenty of rooms. Could be guys who definitely get back there. Anybody ever tell you like Donald Trump? 
please stop. Please. Dude, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Can you do the Trump finger? No, I don't do You can't any, do the Trump I finger? Any, I don't do any Trump things at all. No, I I wish you don't I like Trump. him? Yes, he is who he is. I just wish I had his money. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> who he is? He is who he is. <laughs> you look I, just like him, man. Don't say that, please. How many people have told you that? How many people told too, you that? Too many, unfortunately. Too, too, too many. many. Wow. You can see when my hair blondes out even more. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you got better hair, I think. <laughs> I do, and it's mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just may not be my color. <laughs> like I'm gonna color. sit. I'm gonna sit in the driver's seat. Now. Yeah. Sit. Oh snap! Okay, so I got a big piano roof. Yo, that's the Trump. That's Donald Trump. The Trump finger. How do you do that? How do you do the Trump finger? <laughs> Yeah, I was actually uh, amazed because you could slide it back a little bit. Yeah, bigger than the XT4, the yeah. XT5. Yes, easily, yes. easily. <laughs> it's Donald Trump, yo. <laughs> Donald Trump's brother, Martin Trump. I can't believe I asked him, could you do the Trump figure? <laughs> That's funny. I can't believe it. I may have found, like, the one white guy in America who don't like Donald Trump. Or at least won't confess to it in public. But anyway. Oh, okay, so they have a new camera hider. Yeah, see, you know, I tell you, the auto show was a dud. Like, I, I've even heard people saying the auto show was a dud. You mean the, the only thing worth going to see was really this? It's like Mopar didn't bring anything out new because they're not listening to me, so they got a track hawk that they can't sell. And they got, you know, people, everybody got a Hellcat now. Okay, this one has a heads up display. This, uh, this does offer massage seats, right? Or is it built it in there? Not. It doesn't offer it at all. We do not. Not on XT. Six. Six or five. So how long do the five and the six get the heated, ventilated massage seat? We have the XT5. We came out of what is it? We came out of a SRX. Yeah. And came out of a STS. And the thing about it is, I want the well, my both my mom and my aunt just got XT5s. Nice. And the thing about it is. I was really angry because my aunt had to pay so much extra for the heated, ventilated front. And as as far as I'm concerned, like the XT4, that should be like a that, not really standard, it's but that should be like not, I, I won't say point. standard, but it, it should be like a ba it should be a package that that is easy to get. Like most dealers don't order it. You know, most dealers when, when it comes to the XT5, they don't order it where because do you live? The, it depends on, on where, where you, you live. live. Well, so Florida, you know Paul Conti. Okay, okay. Um, Freeport is not far away. Okay. But I'll tell you like this. That's surprising. Sarant Cadillac is right nearby here. Paul Conti is a little bit further away. And then after that, there's no Cadillac dealerships till you get to the city. Wow. But the thing that gets me is, and we looked through the entire inventory while we were looking, and because and, my mom got one, my aunt got one, and then I took my friend. We test drove everything, oh and she Thank settled you. on one. So, no, we got three. But the thing that killed me was... Here I am convincing them. I'm like, no, you should go for the XT4 because it has all this stuff. And then the problem is when you start looking at the XT5 because you say oh, the XT4 is too small, then they're like, oh, well, this doesn't have enough features. And the features that you have to pay for, you have to go all the way up to the Platinum Edition to get all this stuff. Right. You know, and that, but that's $700. So just, you know, just to let you know, yeah. um, the XT5 is getting a refresh. Well, thank God. How long? Uh, very soon. Okay. It, they'll probably uh, debut in the next six months. But as far as massaging seats, I do not believe that this or that will have this. I mean, it's a brand new car. Yeah, they really, really need that. They really need that. And I, I like the way this is definitely a lot bigger than the five because I sit more comfortably and more upright in this. I like this more. Yeah, it sits up higher. Yeah, this is different. I like this one. Thank you. Yeah, I really like this one. So, who, you know, my thing is they'll probably end up going for the next generation of XT5 because uh, some of them don't need the three rows. Right, so. right. So what you're going to find in that, it's going to have the Cadillac user experience like this. You're going to have the knobs and the, and the buttons. It's going to be 
more along this line, so you're going to have the lighting, the horizontal and vertical lighting on it. Mm -hmm. You'll I like offer, this. You know, premium luxury and sport. Yeah. The rear button, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I like this. It's, it's so spacious. <laughs> so this will be available late summer. Late summer, huh? Yeah. That's a 2020 model. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I wonder how long until they refresh the Escalade. Oh, we'll debut it at the LA Auction. Oh, this November, okay. All right. That's okay. Video recorder. Oh, oh, it's got a camera. Okay, so none of this stuff works if the car is off. And it has a 4G LTE. I wonder if they keep that down here. Maybe they do. Or maybe they don't. I don't know where they would put that because there's usually a SIM card that you have access to somewhere. Whoops. USB-C. So everybody's basically putting USB-C ports in their cars now. And this looks like an um, induction charger. So you put, your, uh, you put your phone right there and it wirelessly charges your phone when you put it down there. So that's cool. Yeah. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I'm definitely, I'm way more comfortable. I, I fit in this car like I fit in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. So I have like a lot of space. I have a lot of space for myself. And I can sit in this very, very comfortably. And I have, this, like, I, I knew, I knew that this, I would actually like the way this felt. And it's not terribly big. Like, this thing is literally the size, it's about the size of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. The thing about it is it rides lower to the ground and it's it feels you know the, because of the way they do their leather in their interior it feels a lot softer than the jeep grand turkey so it feels more luxurious but um yeah this xt6 this is going to be a big seller because the escalade is just too expensive right now and they ha and it's due for a refresh because right now lincoln is selling what looks like a damn yacht with that navigator but the problem is those things are a hundred thousand dollars now this starts close to 60. So I think a lot more people would be easier to get one of these. It's got the heated. Yeah, it's basically the XT4 tech. Oh, uh, lights on. Sorry about that. Okay. And this has a light. I guess what I could say for anybody who is unable to make the New York International Auto Show, and what I could say for anybody who's interested in the XT6, because basically the main thing you want to know is like, you know, well, how does it compare to the XT5 and the XT4? The one thing I can basically say is it's basically a bigger XT4. It's an XT4 that has three rows. You know, I honestly, it's like the twin turbo engine after driving like the regular v6 and then driving the xt4 i'm pretty sure this is a powerful engine that moves this car at least as good as the xt5's engine does but overall it's like nobody's buying these cars to race anybody and nobody's buying these cars to do like real sport driving but you're really buying these cars because you're going to end up sitting in traffic if you're one of these Uber or Lyft guys. And on top of that, you're going to end up taking a lot of road trips with cars like this. Or you just might be an old person who needs this to go back and forth to the doctor. But what I can say is this thing is very, very nice. And I like it. I don't personally care that it has a third row because I don't have those kind of needs for a third row but anybody who wanted an escalade simply because it was a cadillac and it could have three rows but doesn't have the money to buy an escalade i think this will work perfectly for them but other than that i mean all the technology is the exact same you know it's it's all the exact same stuff that you know from the xt4 huh yeah oh yeah everything's the same that you know from the xt4 so I, I really, like, we had to do those exit surveys, and I basically said, yeah, I think Cadillac is uh, on the right track. It's like, um, I think I think they're definitely on the right track. Stay up to date. Oh, so nobody touched with the, nobody messed with the uh, navigation yet, except me, I guess. I, and I'm guessing the, uh, oh, look at this, set up work, set up home. Let's see, where are we? 
Yeah, this is basically, yeah, this thing is a lot more spacious. Like, uh, I sit more comfortably, I guess, in this car than the X-T5, but it's definitely bigger. These are the cabin chairs that she was talking about. Yeah, it's the standard. You, they do it so you can walk to the back. Oh, you want to sit? No. Check. Why not? I'm not interested. Yeah. Oh. I thought they had Cadillac stuff here. But that's okay. I haven't really planned on buying. No, it but you can always use that on the online no, thing. I just I think. got something simple. What'd you get? A bag. Oh, where is it? <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so this is the radio right here. This is the radio volume. So coming up, the latest from the and the thing that most people care about is the fact they can turn off that goddamn engine start stop shit. Nobody, I, every time I talk about an XT5 or an XT4, this comes up because the first thing you want to do when you get in the car is turn that shit off. Like, let them save energy over there in China and Europe. It's like here, I ain't trying to save no energy. I'm fucking driving a V8 that gets nine miles to a gallon. But my thing is, the first thing you want to do is turn that shit off. That's the first thing you want to do. So as soon as you get in the car, almost before you activate the heat of the cooled seats, you got to turn that stupid engine start-stop bullshit off. And for them to not have this button on the X-T5, that really pisses me off. Because they, they it's amazing the shit they don't give you and the stuff they do. You know, like these heated cooled seats, that shit should be standard on any car that's $50,000 or higher. When it comes to those uh, massage seats, the massage seats should be uh, optional on just about everything. You should have optional massage seats. So you got these people right here and they're buying merchandise and all this. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's actually very spacious in the back. I mean, I was able to sit there in the back with Donald Trump himself. And we had plenty, me and Donald Trump had plenty of space. I mean, that's a great thing, you know? Uh, almost. Yeah, me and Donald Trump were able to sit right back here. Look at this. You can recline these seats. Look at that. You can recline the seats a little bit. All right. Yeah, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go get right in. Make yourself comfortable. Every angle. Well, I missed the New York International Auto Show because I was in Thailand. So I didn't get. I would the the only car that came out that was basically you worth. Any, any, any of the other shows, any of the I was out. I was out of the country. I couldn't. Yeah. So basically, I didn't get a chance to take pictures of this car because I was just gone. I was. Uh, yeah. 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 It's pretty spacious. Yes. is getting in the back you can slide yourself back there they got little kitty chairs right here for little children pre-teens I'm just amazed that I was able to sit in here with Donald Trump See, here's the problem, though. Why is it that the X-T4 has all of the technology and these newer cars don't have it yet? Look at that. Massage seats. Look at that shit. Massage seats. Heated and cooled, ventilated massage seats. See, the problem is, I want technology and shit. And the problem is, the smallest car has everything, wherein the biggest ones don't. It's like the X-T5 and the X-T6 need all this stuff. Because the thing about it is while we were looking for other cars, we test drove the Infiniti, we test drove the Lexus, we test drove everything. The Acura RDX, I felt the Acura RDX, like some people were saying uh, the RDX was a better choice. The thing about it is when you're leasing this car, you don't give a fuck if it holds up together for anything more than about 50,000 miles because you're not going to have it that long. So my thing is the RDX did not offer the technology that this car had. 
and even at the same price, forty nine fifty thousand dollars, the the RDX just didn't have the amount of stuff this car had. This car had a heads up display, heated cooled massage seats, and it had a better looking exterior and interior. Because I think the RDX is ugly. I'm not a fan of these Japanese Econo boxes. If I'm about to buy an Econo box, I'll buy an American Econo box or I'll buy a Tesla. So I'm just not a fan of uh, I'm not a fan of Japanese Econo boxes. I could I could see myself buying Hyundai before I could buy a freaking um, Toyota or a Lexus or anything like that. I, I'm just not a fan. It's like if you're a fan, to each his own. I'm not. So, you know, I like the way this looks so much better. Oh no, I'm great. Yeah, so they have the gas port on this side right here. Yeah, I really like the way Cadillac's interiors look now. I really, really do. I really, really, really do. Yeah, and you know, the thing, the proof is the sales. I mean, they're selling these things and they're selling them pretty well. You know, I think this also has the foot thing. Okay, no, maybe it doesn't. But no, I like this car a lot. Problem is the, the big cars need this technology and they need it now. So that's the end of my little PGA XT6 video. Now only accessories? Oh, yeah. Okay. They have another bag. Alright, let's just take a quick look. Yeah, I'm not I'm not crazy about golf. I can't even think of anything I'd really want. A lot. Uh, I'll never understand what the uh, draw is to golf. Oh, that's the Thailand flag. So I see the Thailand flag. I think that's the, the Denmark flag or Norway, Canada. China, Canada, Britain, or Australia. Yeah, USA. Yeah. It's interesting the title plays it. Oh, that's the Kenya, the South Africa. Because even the Cadillac thing ends Monday. I thought it ended tomorrow. Yeah, it ends tomorrow. It'll be over by Monday, I should say. Yeah.